guys, Billy here, Wild Meat Hunter NZ. I'm here with Tom Gillespie, and uh, we're about to embark on a two-day fly fishing uh, adventure here in the beautiful Hawke's Bay. Uh, but before we do that, we're down here watching one of the guys who's going to come out with us tomorrow as well, uh, George Worker, who plays for CD Stags. Uh, so we're going to watch his game tonight. How do you reckon it's going to go, Billy? Thanks, Billy. Well, first of all, mate, thanks for having me on board for the weekend. I'm very excited. Looking forward to catching a lot of fish. Um, like it's good conditions, I'm expecting the dogs to go back. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna settle in and watch Georgie play tonight, and then uh, early start tomorrow, heading up the backcountry river here in the beautiful Hawke's Bay. Just arrived here at the car park. Uh, we're in the central North Island about to embark on a two day fly fishing trip and we've got Tom Gillespie and George Worker here, experts at uh, fly fishing. Done it for a few years boys. Oh, okay. yeah. So um, so we picked George up this morning after his, uh, after his cricket match last night. Uh, managed to score a few runs and hit one out of the park mate. Yeah it wasn't too bad. Nice to, uh, nice to get the win for the stags. Good stuff. So uh, what's the plan from here boys? Uh, we're going to head on down into the river, uh, maybe hike up for an hour or two and um, hopefully we'll spot a few fish along the way but um, yeah then get set up and get stuck in. Beautiful. So we've got the rifle on this trip as well because there's, uh, there's a few deer floating about so if we're unlucky catching a fish uh, this morning then hopefully we might be able to put a venison on the deck as well. So uh, to, our, to our hike to our first, first pool uh, so we're going to get packed up and uh, get on the way. So let's, let's do it. All right. The original plan was to uh, walk an hour and a half uh, to our first fishing spot uh, but we're turning past some really nice water. Boys have already seen a few fish so uh, yeah we're going to jump in straight away. So we've uh, just decided to stop. Beautiful piece of water here. George's already caught one lower on down. And now Tom's just gonna flick a fly in here and um, see if we can get something just in this little moving bit of current here. So uh, fingers crossed. <coughs> So often on a on a new river when I haven't fished before, I, I think a good thing is just to turn over a few rocks to see if you can um, see what nymphs are around at the bottom of the rocks. It helps determine what what fly we should be using. And you can see these little guys here. Um, that's what we'll be trying to imitate. So quite small, dark. Um, those are the little flies that we'll be throwing on. We've been going for uh, nearly seven hours now, and um, new spot. Never been here before, and it is just beautiful. Um, and one pool that we we're really excited about. We spotted two fish, one rainbow, and one really nice brown brown trout. Um, but the boys, George, couldn't entice it to uh, to take a fly and a nymph so we had to abandon that pool but it's just every pool that you walk every corner that you walk around it's just this amazing pool that you guarantee that would hold fish so fly fishing is all very new to me um, I've only ever done it once and I never caught a fish that time so um, so yeah, it's been an interesting morning learning and it's certainly something that requires a lot of skill, a lot of finesse um, 
and there's certainly a lot more tactics involved in fly fishing than in what I first thought. How you approach a fish, uh, the current, the type of water that they would be in. So it's really interesting learning from George and Tom. You know, just some really awesome basic skills. So. But we're just uh, wading through the Whippet River at the moment. We've decided to just walk past a few pools and uh, make our way towards the head of the river and the range uh, where we've been told that there's uh, really good fishing so we're gonna uh, yeah high tail it as quickly as we can up there so uh, so looking forward to it dry here, a bit of a stimulated pattern but it can also act as an indicator um, and then just sort of two foot below it throw a little nymph on so hopefully you can sort of double dip a little bit. Really good when it's pretty fast water and you can't really um, you know, see the fish um, and it sort of gives you two options which is good. So day two, we are about to head on, head on back to the car park. Uh, we've just packed up camp, and uh, boys are just rigging up the rods and reels with the plan for today, lads. Um, so today we're going to just fish the, the really deep pools. Um, we didn't see as many fish out in the open yesterday as we thought, so I think the plan is on the way back just to go deep and um, try and pull a few out of the, the deep pools. Hopefully, get a decent size, decent size fish on the board and stuff. So that's the plan, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a few more fish on board. It'd be bloody nice. Yeah, let's do it. Came up and tried to hit the dry, missed it, and then as it went down, saw the nymph and took that. Fish on. That brings the end of our two day fly fishing trip. Uh, it's been awesome uh, seeing some new country. Tough work though boys, on the fishing side. Yeah, yeah. it was a bit tough. Yeah. Um, got, we caught a few fish, um, a lot of small ones, a couple of decent sized fish and then I think the only decent fish, like the, the big ones we have been to, we, we lost today. So very frustrating out there in the high winds that have added to the frustration. But beautiful country and plenty of fish around, so yeah, fantastic trip. Yeah, we're pretty unlucky today. Um, I think we only landed really one, got, got onto, Tom got onto a good one but just sort of lost it at the end there. Um, but yeah, covered a lot of country and, and um, it's always good to get out, uh, learnt a lot about fly fishing, certainly a 
a bit of technique goes involved in it. Yeah, and a bit of luck. It yeah. can go away, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this fly fishing episode of Wild Meat Hunter NZ. Uh, check us out on Facebook and uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram.